Okay friends, let's get started by disconnecting our negative battery terminal. Once that's loose, set it aside so it's making no contact with your battery. Let's go ahead and remove this lower panel from underneath the steering column. Set this aside. Now we need to look underneath our steering column. You're going to find this panel here that has four holes in it. We're going to be using three of those holes. This one here, one right there, and then this one up closest to the steering wheel. Don't worry about this one. Inside of all three of those holes, there's Phillips head screws. Remove them all. Okay, so now we're going to move over to the driver's side of the steering column and remove this. Remove the lower panel. Now with the lower panel out of the way, we're going to continue on to using the key here. I'm going to go right inside the ignition and I'm going to turn this to the on position. Basically like I'm starting but not cranking. Now we need to come underneath with a pick and we're going to press right on this tab right here. Once you press in on that, you can grab onto your switch and remove it from the steering column. Set this aside. Now let's go ahead and grab onto this. We'll just pivot it and swing this down. Now we can remove this upper shell. Now we can go ahead and grab onto this upper clamshell here. We're just going to wiggle it around, try to break it free. There we are. Now I'm going to pull up on the driver's side and just try to pull it up and over the steering column. that off of there, set it aside. Now the next thing we want to do is go ahead and cut off this wire tie here. Just going to get under this tab, gently pry, remove that. Now we're going to come right up here. This piece should be slid down on there. Just carefully get under it and pry up. We're going to press in on this tab right here, lift up on this. There we are. Now the next thing we want to do is go ahead and drive this pin out of here. It's going to go through from the bottom to the top. If you wanted to, you could go ahead and put the ignition switch back in here and then bring this all the way up and you'll have much easier access. For me personally, I'm just going to use a hammer and a punch, drive it up and out. Grab onto that pin and remove it. Now we can just go ahead and grab onto this arm. We'll slide it out of here carefully. The next thing we need to do is remove the boot from this. To do that, we're of course going to have to slide it over this, so that means we need to remove the wiring. There we are. Pull that off of there. Now we'll just go ahead and pull the arm out of the boot. There it is, friends. The next thing we're going to do is move along to cleaning out the inside of this hole where that lever is going to be. Now I'm just going to apply some lubricant into the hole here. Okay friends, now it's going to be time to install our brand new shift lever. Obviously, you're going to want to start off by putting the boot onto the arm here. To do that, I'm going to start with the wiring. We'll just go ahead and put it through. Slide it all the way. And then of course we'll put the shaft through as well. Okay, let's get ready to get this into the steering column now. Obviously you wanna have the wording facing towards you because if you put it in backwards, well, it's gonna be really funny looking. Just go ahead and slide it right into where it belongs. Now it's going to be time to put our pin in there. Look down in here. You want to make sure that you have your holes lined up. After you have them lined up, go ahead and slide in your pin and then drive it down.
Now let's go ahead and take that wire. We're going to bring it directly over here and plug it into the wiring harness. Listen for a click, give it a nice tug. Resecure this with a wire tie. Once we have that wire tied down, let's continue on to putting our wiring into this little clip right here. Make sure you lock it in. Okay. Now we're just going to take this, press it down on here. Tap the clamshell on. Obviously, we want the shifter knob to come through this hole. Bring it right through there. We'll slide it up and in. Now we do this part. We just want to slide this part underneath the facial plate here. Okay. Bring this around carefully. We'll slide it down. You want your four-way switch to come through the top area. Just like that. There we go. Make sure this is lined up. You should have the area where your screw is going to go in. Now let's get the bottom portion of this in here. Just gonna line it up. We'll start in all three of our screws before we tighten any of them down. Now let's go ahead and get the tilt adjuster in here. Bottomed out, just go ahead and grab onto it. Make sure it's nice and tight. Now we're going to put back in our ignition switch. Just pay attention to this area here. You want to make sure that that's facing where it needs to. Go ahead and slide it in. Now let's get this cover on as well. Just line up our screw holes here. Push it in, quarter turn. Now let's reconnect in our battery and tighten it up. Okay friends, all you have left to do now is put the key in the ignition, put it in the on position, and then test to make sure your wipers, your directionals, and everything else works the way that it should.